And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here as we are under the lights at the Charlotte Motor Speedway to begin the midway portion of the regular season for Season 4 of the Answer Ray Duracell Cup Series. We are getting set here to find out who are going to get the final transfer spots into this season's All-Star Race through tonight's All-Star Open. 40 laps of racing here tonight. Four drivers will race their way in through 10 lap segments, four in total. One driver will get in through the fan vote. Now, it might be a tad confusing with me saying it's 40 laps, four segments, because you're probably wondering, well, are we going to be doing a 10 lap segment, and then a 10 lap segment, then a 10 lap segment, then a 10 lap segment? No, we're actually running all 40 of the laps. It will be a continuation of all 40 laps. There will be no breaks in between. But how we're going to determine who the drivers that are in that transfer, whoever is leading at the completion of lap 10, Lap 20, lap 30, and lap 40. Those are the drivers that are going to transfer in. Now, we're also going to be putting in a somewhat new implement here in the NSA Ray where we're going to be having the ghost car rule. What that is, is let's say, for instance, the driver lined up on the pole position here, James Qualls. Let's say he leads the first 10 laps, leads the completion of lap 10. Once he crosses the line to complete lap 10, he is locked into the all-star race. He would go into what we would call ghost car mode. In essence, we, we almost would pretend he doesn't exist anymore because technically he has already come down pit road. He's made the left-hand turn to the garage area. He's done for the night. He knows he's going to be racing later on in the all-star race events. So that's what we're going to be doing as far as that's concerned. So let's say then that James Qualls, who's still out there on track, but he's in ghost car mode, goes on and leads the completion of lap 30. Well, since he is in ghost car mode, the driver that finishes second behind him is theoretically the leader, hence the winner of that segment, and would move on to the all-star race. Hopefully that's not too confusing for people to understand, but, uh, you know, obviously we're going to know at the end of the night, regardless of if you understand or if you don't, who the four drivers are going to be. Also, we've got another driver that's going to be transferring into the All-Star Race. We won't find out who that is until the All-Star Race event because that is our fan vote winner. And how that's going to work is, say, for instance, the driver that comes into tonight after the fan voting has the most number of votes received, wins one of the segments, well, they've already won a segment. They don't need the fan vote to fall back on. It would then go to the driver that's second highest in the fan vote. If that driver transferred in, it goes to the third highest driver of the fan vote and subsequently go on down until we get to a driver that's up there in the fan vote that did not transfer in in one of our four segments here tonight. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, just stick with us. Hopefully it'll make sense by the end of this 40 lap event. Speaking of Qualls, he is on the pole position alongside of Michael Rood. Qualls representing a number of drivers that are chartered machines that didn't make it in the All-Star Race. Michael Rood representing all but Chris Dollarton of the non-chartered drivers that have not made it yet into the All-Star Race event. You can check down in the description below for your full official starting lineup for tonight's All-Star Open. And we're going to go down trackside and get some famous words in motorsports. Pace car is going to lead the field down pit road. They'll complete a pace lap here at this 1.5 mile speedway. And this is going to be interesting too because this is the first time we've ever actually run this version of Charlotte Motor Speedway. And so this is kind of an audition for the track, if you will, as to what type of racing we can expect not only to see here tonight in the All-Star Open, but also in the All-Star Race later on and in the Coca-Cola 600 to begin the second half of the regular season. It's our longest race of the year. So this is going to be interesting to see just what type of racing we can expect here during the course of this next week. For the chartered drivers that are in this All-Star Open, these are drivers that did not win a race either this season or after the All-Star Race last season. A number of drivers were actually winners from last year, but they did it before last year's All-Star Race. Zach Rogers, uh, James Qualls, they were winners last year. Jack Mitchell, but that they won prior to the All-Star Race back in Season 3. So it qualified him into the Season 3 All-Star Race, but not here into the Season 4 All-Star Race. And we've also got a former champion that's in this field here tonight, that 10 of Ryan Acosta. So let's see if he can get up here into a transfer spot. So we're racing to the completion of lap 10 technically here first, as James Qualls and Michael Rube will lead us down. And the All-Star Open for Season 4 is green. Let's roll!
No points on the line, no championship on the line, just a transfer spot in the all-star race. So how aggressive are these drivers gonna be early on as Qualls at the front. Now Michael Rude takes a look down to the inside. Phil Parker looking three wide. He'll put Samsel in the middle. Matthew Rodriguez up to the top side along with Dawson Wise as the DeWalt Toyota Camry is going to lead the first lap of the night. Michael Rude lead lap one. Here's Poteet looking up the middle three wide. He's got Parker to the inside. Qualls the pole sitter got kicked to the top side three wide. 183 miles per hour coming out of turn two. And 190 when they reach turn three. Phil Parker way up the track. Oh, we're four wide. Laura Chung on that inside. Gardner and Taylor Garrett are stuck in the middle. Oh, they're still leaning. And Gardner is going to get turned up in front of the field in turn one. Everyone scatters to avoid. Caution is out. Oh, they all made it through there. How? I think the only two drivers that were involved in that wreck were Taylor Gerdes and Phil Parker. But the caution is out nonetheless. It splits the field up for sure, coming to the caution flag. Michael Rood leads Laura Chung and Cole Baker back to the line. And someone explained to me how there were only two cars involved in that wreck. Phil Parker, the Old Spice Ford Mustang, all crunched up. Taylor Gerdes was the one that got spun around while battling four wide for the second position. You just kind of got the feeling that wasn't going to end well in any way, shape, or form. But I think what happened was the 69 got turned straight up into the wall. Parker was the only car behind that couldn't get down. Everybody else got down to the inside underneath those two. And everybody else was able to avoid. Man, that is, that's incredible. That we only had two drivers involved in the wreck that close to the front of the field. Pit road was open. Nobody decided to come to pit road here. So everybody's racing to lap 10. Nobody trying to roll the dice here. Maybe see if they can take on some tires or some extra fuel. Maybe shoot for lap 20, 30, or 40. Let's go back and see what brought out the caution for the first time here tonight in the All-Star Open. Here it was. Taylor Garrett is stuck in the middle. Garden to the outside. Laura Chung on the inside. And watch how this four-wide situation somehow did not involve more drivers. Gardner turns the 69 of Garrett up the track. Now watch, see how the wall catches the 69, keeps it facing straight back rather than down into the track. Poti was barely able to get through. And Phil Parker, the only one that got involved. Now I honestly thought, you know, we ended up having a lot of drivers avoid here, but then they were all stacked up almost four wide in the middle of this group. You have Will Goss down the inside line, actually practically on the apron. Same for Jack Mitchell, Joshua Osborne down there. But they all were able to make it off of turn two and out of the back straightaway, bringing it back to the caution. So, man, we dodged quite a few bullets right there. No doubt about it. Phil Parker and Taylor Gerdes, on the other hand, though, their all-star race hopes could be up in smoke just as early as lap number two. Place just went out atop the pace car. We're going back green on lap 8 of 40, which means we're going to be going back green with three laps to go here in this first segment. Michael Rood out in front, hoping he'll be the one to lead when we get back to the completion of lap 10. He's got Laura Chung behind him, Cole Baker third, Johnny Gardner fourth, Adam Samsel fifth. As you can see here, one driver will not officially be transferring to the All-Star race. Phil Parker has brought his Old Spice Ford into the garage area, so tough break there for the driver out of Lake Effect Autosport. Will not be joining his teammate, two-time winner this season, Jesse Turner, in the All-Star race. Taylor Gerdes did return back to the track despite the rear end damage. That 69 machine, we'll see if he's gonna be up to speed enough to get up here towards the front yet again. We gave you your top five. Let's go down through the top 10. Ryan Acosta lines up in sixth, Tristan Allen seventh. Rob Evans in 8th, ninth is going to be Josh Torres, and Dawson Y is going to complete the top 10. As again, we're going back green with 3 laps to go here in this segment. At the completion of lap 10, whoever ends up leading at that point is going to get the first automatic ticket into this season's All-Star Race event through this qualifying race. Should be a wild one here coming down to the closing stages of segment one as the pace car is on pit road and the DeWalt Toyota Camry of Michael Rood brings us down and gets us back underway at Charlotte. 
And now with a single file restart, how anxious are these drivers going to be to go three wide again? Baker to the inside of Laura Chung. That's for second. Tristan now and his teammate going by Ryan Acosta for sixth. Baker wants the lead. Gardner going to follow him. Cole Baker, former Daytona 500 winner, moves into the lead. Johnny Gardner into second. Now he's under fire from Adam Samsel. Baker trying to block both lanes. Two to go in the first segment. Cole Baker, the only driver out of DCW racing in this field tonight. That is a chartered machine as we nearly had contact for second place between Gardner, Samsel, and Allen. Tristan Allen fighting up here into the second spot. So DCW 1-2. The proverbial white flag for segment one about to be shown this time by. They're still battling out for second. Baker's got about a car length lead coming to the start finish line. So if Cole Baker can get back here to the start finish line as the race leader, he's locked into the all-star race. They're four wide almost behind him. Now back to three wide. Two and a half car lengths back to second place, Laura Chung. Cole Baker's got to just make it through turn four and he's got this thing wrapped up. Coming to the start finish line, it will be Cole Baker getting the first spot into the all-star race through the open. So Cole Baker enters in what we call now ghost car mode. He's already locked in. He's probably now, let's see if he can uh, help one of his teammates maybe win one of these segments. Is now Laura Chung looking for the top position. Technically, Laura Chung's in the race lead right now. Quentin Moore would be in second. Battle for third would be between Tristan Allen and Matthew Rodriguez. As they were four wide again back there mid-pack about half a lap ago and somehow got through it. I think the 16 of Josh Torres Almost got up into the wall. Now Quentin Moore. Oh, we got to cut the car up in the wall. That's Rob Evans in the 65 off of turn two. Everybody got by that Heritage Distillery, Distilling uh, Company Dodge. We still remain green. Got the 93 of Michael Wayne Robinson now moving up into what would technically be third. That's Quentin Moore out in front. Quentin Moore, last thing that we really talked about Quentin Moore that, that had him as a, as a highlight driver was back all the way in the Daytona 500 when he was able to qualify his way in through the duels. Or no, actually they wasn't even the duels! Oh no! Got a car flipping! Ryan Acosta! Patrick Smith's involved! I think Will Goss was a third driver in it and I think some others may have just slid into the incident. They're on the back straightaway. Caution's gonna come out for the second time here tonight at Charlotte. Quentin Moore leads us back to the line over Laura Chung, Michael Wayne Robinson, Matthew Rodriguez, and Tristan Allen. Again, no disrespect to Cole Baker. I'm not ignoring him for the fact of that he's up here at the front, but he's already locked into the all-star race, so he's in ghost car mode. But, oh, Zach Stoltz in the 44, all torn up. Harrison Ponder was in it in the 79. Patrick Smith, Ryan Acosta was the car I saw flipping. And I'm pretty sure that the 20 of Will Goss got a piece of this. He may have already taken his machine back to the garage area. I don't even see him out here on the track. That was a big wreck there off of turn two. And everybody's coming down pit road this time. Nobody's going with the strategy of staying out. So this is a this is a technically a money stop for these drivers. Because when we go back green, we're going to be around, what, maybe four laps to go here in the second segment. So we'll follow up on that in just a moment. Let's go back to turn two. Take a look at what brought out the second caution of the evening. Well, it looks like almost a four-wide situation again. Brad Stover on the top, Will Goss in the middle. Also below him, Ryan Acosta and Patrick Smith on the extreme inside line. Let's see where the contact begins. Oh, looks like it was on the top side there. Brad Stover came down into Will Goss, who then in turn comes down to Acosta, down to Smith, and watch this hit. Ten car immediately up and over is Will Goss. Right there, Zach Stoltz gets clipped by Patrick Smith, sends him down into Ryan Acosta, and then Harrison Ponder got into the 77, and just to show you the amount of speed these drivers are carrying, look how this spin, this slide, goes all the way from turn two exit down to the entrance of turn three. Fortunately, Ryan Acosta's car came back down on all four wheels. But, uh... Three cars really starting that wreck, and then a couple of innocent bystanders getting collected up in it in Stoltz and Ponder. That brings out the caution for the second time here tonight, and the list of drivers that are not making it into the all-star race start to compile up even more. 
More drivers out after this one. Ryan Acosta, Will Goss, Patrick Smith, Zach Stoltz, and Harrison Ponder. Pretty much all five drivers involved in that wreck. They are now out of the race. Dawson Wise currently a lap down. And I'm a little concerned for our race leader, Quentin Moore. He came off pit road as the leader. But he has a little bit of damage now to the front. He ran to the back of somebody on pit lane coming out of his stall. So we'll see if that affects him. He'll lead Michael Wayne Robinson, Matthew Rodriguez, Laura Chung, and Seth Cole back to the green flag. It's going to be three laps to go here in segment two. And Michael Wayne Robinson wasting no time. Talk about a driver that's been on a tear ever since taking over that 93 at KB Racing Enterprises. Michael Wayne Robinson has made three straight Duracell Cup Series charter starts. He has a runner-up finish already as well in a charter event. But he's also got Matthew Rodriguez and Seth Cole right behind him. A couple of Pigeon Racing teammates. Rodriguez looking to the bottom. He wants the race lead. Matthew Rodriguez hasn't taken a checkered flag in the Duracell Cup Series since all the way back at Arizona in Season 1. And while this will only be a non-points checkered flag, he still wants it, but he's got Nathan Norman now that's peeking to the inside three wide. Ooh, Rodriguez pushes up there into Robinson, trying to hold that middle. Ormond right there with him. Seth Cole in the middle line, trying to help his teammate. White flag here for the second segment in the air as Matthew Rodriguez pinching Nathan Norman down there on the front stretch. Still three wide coming out of turn two. Now four wide, Schwallenberg sticks it in. He made it work. Oh, careful into three here, guys. Who's gonna get the advantage? It's Robinson on the top side. Here comes Ormond, here comes Schwallenberg. Chung makes it four wide coming off the final corner. To the stripe, who gets it? It's Robinson. Michael Wayne Robinson is into the all-star race. Schwallenberg! Off the nose of Chung, up into Ormond. Big wreck takes place in turns one and two. Johnny Gardner's piling in. Shelton and Qualls got a piece. Their cars are littered out of two. Baker, Rodriguez, they hit late. Schwallenberg was in it. Seth Cole, Johnny Gardner. Caution comes out here for the third time tonight just after these drivers had finished out the second segment and I believe both of our transfer drivers were involved in that one. Robinson in the 93 and Baker in the 11. As Laura Chung leads us back to the caution. Boy, you just knew when we got down towards the end of that second segment, things were going to ramp up. We were four wide going into turn three. Four wide coming off of turn four, coming to that second checkered flag of the night and then just after that i think everybody was fig trying to figure out all right you know we got 10 more laps till the next segment ends what do we do now where do we go how do we get ourselves positioned and a lot of torn up race cars yet again here in this third caution of the evening let's go back and see what happened this really starts with the door leaning by Nathan Ormond into Dylan Schwallenberg. Schwallenberg comes down off the nose of Laura Chung, and he's trying to save the car going back into the corner. Might not been too happy with that 45. Slides up into him. Matthew Rodriguez nowhere to go. Pedro Lucas got a piece. Seth Cole in the middle of this. Michael Wayne Robinson, we saw before we came back for this replay how he had damage on the right side getting up into the wall. And then Johnny Gardner right there, nowhere to go. He gets into the back of Pedro Lucas, down to his teammate James Qualls. Shelton gets contact there with the right side of her machine. And then Cole Baker sliding in. He's got to get clipped there by Johnny Gardner. Taylor Gerdes got involved. And as Baker slides... Then here comes Matthew Rodriguez. And he sees the 11, tries to get low, couldn't get low enough. Gets him with the right front. And even more contact for both of those drivers. The good news for Baker is he's already locked into the All-Star race, winning the first segment. Bad news for a number of these other drivers back here. They were not locked in and more than likely will not be locked in with the damage sustained from that big wreck over there in turns one and two. Cautions out for the third time here tonight in the All-Star Open. Let's go back for yet another restart. Well, as I said, no points on the line, no championship on the line. So the only consequences you serve if you're out of the race is you're not going to get to participate in the All-Star Race event later on this evening. Well, the garage area continues to pile up as a result. Seth Cole, Taylor Gerdes, Johnny Gardner, Pedro Lucas, and Cole Baker all in the garage area. Baker, however, already transferred into the All-Star Race, winning the first segment. 
Dawson Wise, Matthew Rodriguez line up a, log, uh, a lap down. Laura Chung, the race leader, was a go back green. Michael Wayne Robinson in ghost car mode, let's not forget. He's already transferred in, winning the second segment. So Brad Stover, Jack Mitchell, Tristan Allen, and Zach Rogers are technically the top five as we go back green. Five laps to go in this third segment, if you're counting. As Chung gets away, drivers having difficulty getting around the slower machines of Dawson Wise and Matthew Rodriguez. Stover now going to move into second spot. Jack Mitchell trying to move to third. Pote trying to move into fourth. Oh, wow, Dawson Wise holding up Tristan Allen there. Michael Wayne Robinson's already locked into the all-star race. Could he play defense possibly for a fellow Ford in Laura Chung? Brad Stover trying to catch up. Jack Mitchell, Dylan Pote trying to do the same. Almost four wide back there. Drivers still trying to make their way around the slower machines. As Stover is closing. Stover is closing up that gap. Battle now going on for... On track, fourth, but actually third position between Dylan Poteet and Jack Mitchell. And you saw right there, the gap definitely closed up from Brad Stover up to the back of Michael Wayne Robinson, as well as the race leader, Lord Chung. Chung hoping that Stover doesn't catch up here within the next three laps. Two and a half to go here in this third segment. If you're just joining, Cole Baker is already locked in, winning the first segment. Michael Wayne Robinson's already locked in, winning the second segment. And now two laps to go in the third segment here of the All-Star Open. Right now the gap is six, make it seven tenths of a second. From Laura Chung back to Brad Stover, the 93 does not exist right now since he already has transferred in. He's technically what we would call ghost car mode currently, but he certainly could play a factor into who wins this third segment. Stover says, I'm not waiting. He's going to the inside of Michael Wayne Robinson. But he's going to have to now get up here to Laura Chung on this one lap. White flag in the air for segment three. Laura Chung trying to get a Mills Motorsports Ford into the all-star race. Brad Stover closing. He's got the draft down the back straightaway. Can he make a move into three and four? He's there, but is he close enough? Oh, out of turn four might be his best shot, but does he have the momentum? He's looking low. Here comes Stover. Stover and Chung to the stripe. Give it to Laura Chung by maybe a couple of feet. Laura Chung is locked into the all-star race, and now it's everybody battling to the end of this race. Who's going to get the final spot? Laura Chung says, I'm locked in. Go ahead. Take the top position. Stover to the point. Dylan Pote right there as well in the 31. Jack Mitchell. Right now would be in third. Smet Oscon would be in fourth. And Tristan Allen right now would be in fifth. Remember the 27 and the 93. They're ghost cars. They're locked in already. Pote looking low here on Brad Stover. Jack Mitchell trying to get around the already transferred Laura Chung. He's third. Smet Oscon right now in fourth. Rob Evans just moved into fifth. Getting around Tristan Allen. And Pote will go to the point around Brad Stover. Oscon looking for third on Mitchell. He'll take it coming to the start finish line. Cole Baker, Michael Wayne Robinson, Laura Chunk. They're already locked in. Who's going to be the fourth driver to lock themselves in here through the open? Stover back to the bottom on Pote. Here comes the Met Oscon and Jack Mitchell now. Four car fight for the final transfer spot. Stover edges ahead to turn three. The other drivers back there trying to get into this hunt. Rob Evans, the 65. Tristan Allen in the 15. Arthur Xavier in the 24. They've still got time to get up here as well. As Stover leading into turn one. Smet Oscon, the subway Toyota, looks low. Slow car up ahead. I think that's Matthew Rodriguez in the 57. Might play a factor here with the leaders side by side for two rows deep. Here's Rob Evans now up here in this lead group. Where does Oscon go? He's gonna go low. Mitchell sticks him in the middle. Here comes Rob Evans. Evans is gonna go from fifth up to third, maybe to second, maybe to the lead. Three wide for the top position. Off of turn two. Samet Oscon on the top. Mitchell in the middle. Evans on the bottom. Poteet, he's gonna be the decider of who gets the draft. He goes low with Evans. 
Evans clears for the top position, leaving them side by side for second. Hootiet, he's trying to get that runner up spot. Almost contact there going to one between himself and Mitchell. Smet Oscon way up the track as Mitchell has to back out. Tristan Allen now up there in the Dex Imaging Toyota Camry. He's in the hunt for a transfer spot. Drivers right now that are way back there. Losing time, losing an opportunity to transfer. Zach Rogers in the six, Daniel Voyles in the 63. Josh Torres in the 16. They just can't seem to be able to get up here. That's Evans now to the point. Three and a half laps to go as they hit the back straightaway. Well, as soon as I say that, Rogers, Torres, and Voyles might be able to catch up here, but they're going to have to do it sooner rather than later. As now, Evans out in front. Then it's Oscon and Poti battling for second, trying to figure out who's going to be the one to try and get up here and challenge this 65 car. Three laps to go here under the lights at Charlotte. Cole Baker, Michael Wayne Robinson, Laura Chung, they're already locked into the all-star race. One charter driver and two non-charter drivers. Right now, the highest charter driver is Jack Mitchell in fourth position. Non-charter drivers may go three for four as Rob Evans about to come around, hit two to go. Pote back to the inside of Samet Oscon for second place. Rob Evans trying to control the draft here, hoping they stay side by side for second place. Pote trying to clear Samet Oscon by time to come off of turn two. Slow car up ahead. That's the 81 of Dawson Wise. Will they catch him on this final lap? Will he be a factor? They might. Pote clears. He clears for second and opens up some daylight between himself and Samet Oscon. It's now Rob Evans out in front with the white flag in the air. Pote in second. Does Dylan Pote have anything for this dodge? He's closed the gap. Two car lengths. One and a half. Now one car length down the back straightaway. Slow car could be a factor. Poteet is there. Here they go into turn three. Dylan Poteet's right in the back bumper. Looking low here out of four. Here they come to the stripe. Who's going to get it? Rob Evans by half a car length is going to get the final transfer spot into the all-star race here in season four. So it is officially going to be one Toyota, two Fords, and one Dodge that will get the four transfer spots. Cole Baker, Michael Wayne Robinson, Laura Chung, and Rob Evans will all be partaking in the Duracell Cup Series All-Star Race here in Season 4. One more driver will join them. That's going to be the driver that's the recipient of the fan vote, but we're not going to be revealing that until the driver's grid for the all-star race in a little while. And you can see the, the Rob Evans machine, that damage there on the right rear, that's because uh, the 65 was actually up and into the wall at one point in this race, sustaining that damage. But the damage not enough to hold Rob Evans back. So, there's a look at the full finishing results from this all-star open, the... Most important thing, however, as mentioned, is the drivers that won the respective segments, Baker, Robinson, Chung, and Evans. So they will all be transferring into the all-star race. The rest of these drivers, they're going to be on the sidelines, sitting and watching, unless one of them is the fan vote winner. In, in that case, that driver will get to take part in the all-star race. The rest of them, though, will be spectators for the rest of the evening. But as we show you the rest of the results here, drivers that weren't really even able to get into the conversation for a transfer spot, retiring out of the race. I have to wonder, based off what we saw here in the open, what kind of racing are we going to see in the all-star race with a million dollars on the line? And then, what type of racing are we going to see in the longest race of the season, the Coke 600, next week? A lot of questions still have to be answered after the performance, the audition, that this version of Charlotte gave us here tonight in the open race. But that's going to do it here. Stay tuned. The All-Star Race is going to be coming up momentarily here this evening where drivers will race it out for not only momentum heading into the second half of the regular season, but for that $1 million check. Drivers, that transferred here tonight. Cole Baker, Michael Wayne Robinson, Laura Chung, and Rob Evans. You'll see them along with the other 26 drivers that already were locked in and your fan vote winner 
in just a few moments. Hope you guys enjoyed this all-star open here at Charlotte. If you did, give it, be sure to give this video a like. My brain thinking ahead of what my mouth can say. If you uh, enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to be part of the crew today. And we will see you guys for the all-star race here momentarily as you've been watching a production of the Offline Racing at its best.